What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You ever turn the subscribe, uh, ah, subscriber. As always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Anyway, tell them tripping. I want to talk to y'all today about a story, man, that just, just not even funny. It's just, it's unbelievable. At younger ages now, how young people step off of ledges and mess their whole life up. There's a city in Florida called Reddick. Shout out Reddick, Florida. In which, in this story, a 91-year-old woman was reportedly beaten severely and violated, if you know what I'm talking about, by a 14-year-old boy. Now, I'm going to show you this video. And uh, I, want to, I want you to look at two things. Number one. The relationship between this woman and this boy. And number two, his excuse of why he did what he did, because he broke into her home. And then he did this. But I want you to see his excuse and I'll show it to you after you look at this video right here. Take a look. The crime itself was unimaginable. A 91 year old woman beaten and raped in her home in Marion County. But now comes the arrest of the person accused of the attack, a 14-year-old boy. As West News' Michelle Meredith reports, the case has rattled veteran sheriff's deputies. In Marion County, the small town of Reddick, there is outrage. I don't know what this world come into. Uh, this is something that even those in law enforcement, the sheriff himself said in all his years of law enforcement, it's still shocking. Shocked because in Reddick, a 91-year-old woman was savagely beat, sexually attacked, and investigators say the person who did it, the person who's been arrested was only 14 years old. The details of the attack are disturbing. According to court records on June 9th, around midnight, the 91 year old woman saw a dark shadow in the hallway of her house that before she knew it, someone had pounced on top of her. The victim told investigators she fought with all her might, but then the suspect began to beat her head with his fist. As the attack went on, she prayed, Dear God, please help me. And the suspect told her to shut up. Deputies say the community stepped in and stepped up to help with the investigation. The community up there is strong. They've all, they banded together and it really helped us out. We received so many tips, so many leads. Then it all came down to DNA. The Marion County Sheriff's Office has its own DNA lab and within days had their suspect. Not only is he 14 years old, investigators say the victim knew the boy. And then I wonder what happened to the boy to make the boy become a, a monster at 14, you know. The suspect, whom we will not identify at this point because of his age, had a first appearance Tuesday morning at the Marion County Courthouse. That's where the 14-year-old learned he's facing two charges, burglary and sexual battery. In Marion County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. All right, guys, that's the story of this young dude. In this story that you just seen, with him doing all that vile stuff to that woman. I want to show you what his excuse was and the reasons of why he did what he did. Now, you've seen that. It, in fact, we'll just get back to that. Here's the reason why he said he did what he did. Look. It was on June 9th, around midnight, that Stone entered the 91-year-old's home in Reddick. They say he allegedly beat her, then sexually attacked her before he took off. According to the arrest report, the victim told deputies that a young boy by the name of, quote, Randy John had stopped by her home the day before to talk to her and described him as a good boy. She also said the boy would stop by her home when he was younger, but hadn't done so in a while. Deputies later identified the boy as Stone, and on June 13th, deputies took Stone in for questioning. They say he admitted to entering the victim's home to watch pornography before he sexually abused her. Guys, you've seen the excuse. He went in their house to watch PORN. And I'm going to get to that in a second. But 
A lot of these crimes, they have kids, they don't identify them, don't show them, it just says their name or sometimes they don't identify who they are. They won't identify them, but I will. Boom, there you go. Why am I not surprised? He looking sellish. Anyway, this guy, Jesse Stone, 14 years old, a.k.a. the Vanilla Freak. This guy right here, rough man, said he went in this woman's house to watch adult material. Now, that got me head scratching. That got me scratching my head. Number one, she said he used to come over there when he was younger, but he didn't come for a while. So I guess, you know, he, she was friends with the family or whatever and knew him through that. Either way, he knew this woman. Why would the adult material come up? Why would he go in her house to watch that unless he was bringing it, which would sound weird, or it was already there? Because a lot of times kids come in your house when you're young and they what? They snoop. She might have had videos or, or, or whatever. Back in the day, he might have got a whiff of them, messed his mind up, and he thought about them and came back in there to see if they were still there. Then he all charged up anyway. He might have turned on this lady. Either way, the lady said she woke up. He was in the house. Immediately started attacking her. Then, you know, he, said he charged with battery of a sexual nature. You know what I'm saying? 14 years old, man, his testosterone up. Yep, they're trying to run up in a 91-year-old woman after beating the shit out of him. Make it make sense. Yo, there's some sick people out here, man. And I mean, where is this coming from? You gotta, we got to really ask ourselves. Where, I mean, it, it, there was always fast-ass kids, whether they boys or girls. But to be so open about it now and aggressive with it, yo, it's, it's, yo, it's off the hook out here. This is somebody grandma, somebody mom, 14-year-old boy, don't know nothing about nothing. All he know was the sack was full and he must relieve himself. Don't matter if it's an ancient hole or just a hole in the ground. Man, yo. He confessed. I could, I, they need to let me be bad cop, I swear to God. I don't give a fuck if he's 14 years old because his crime was adult. He knew what the fuck he was doing. I go right in there. Hey, my man, I'm officer such and such. Now, according to this uh, arrest affidavit, it said that you said you are the one that did this. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Uh, what was your excuse, young man, for going in there and violating that 91-year-old woman? I mean, I just want to know. <laughs> I went in there to watch pornography. What? What? Go get the phone book. I knock his head off. Knock his head off. For real. We all know the difference between right and wrong. But I'm telling you, a lot of people don't know the urges inside a teenager when they start becoming sexually mature and that testosterone spike hit, they do some of the craziest things. This right by far is one of the wildest I've heard. And I mean, there's a lot of people out there that's like this. They can't think past their own nuts. This is a damn shame. And this happened in a small town. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard of uh, this place. And uh, was it Reddick, Florida? I never heard of it. But either way, man, I mean, you don't have to be in Reddick. You can be in a big city. You can be in a farm town. Either way, there are a lot of people out here that are misguided in the way they believe in the, sexually between man, the sexuality between man and woman. And we see it all the time with a lot of stories I do. It's a lot of freak dudes out here that think if they touch a woman in a certain spot, it'll hit a magic button and make her desire and match his sexual energy and give him his way with him. Don't work like that, man. Can't go around violating people, man. He young. They deciding whether they're going to try him as an adult or as a child. It's no damn way. He hurt this woman, beat her up, snuck in her house. It was intent. He had a, uh, he thought this through like an adult. He attacked an adult. So what? He, what's supposed to happen to him? That's the thing. They need to start taking a lot of. They need to focus more on the crime and the viciousness of the severity of the crime rather than the age of the person, because nowadays it ain't no difference between somebody 14 years old and 24 years old, because the mindset is all fucked up in America. Let's keep it the fuck real. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's a damn shame. See you in the next video. Take care.